Well, today I figured I would do another uh, uh, sawmill update video. Not done one of those in a while. I've been doing a lot of woodworking lately. But uh, right here this morning, getting the kiln ready for another load. And uh, it's a long nail. Well, the first load is already finished, and this is going to be load number two for the kiln. This is going to be the second load I run through it. And the only thing that I'm going to change to the kiln is these wires here going to the uh, instruments there that read the humidity and the temperature for inside the kiln. If you follow me on the kiln video series, this is going to be old hat for you, but these gauges right here, there's two different instruments. These two right here. This top one tells the temperature for inside of the kiln. This bottom instrument right here is hooked to a small little piece of material. This is a, a, like a wick. And it goes down into this little water reservoir here and that tells you the humidity in the kiln at all the time. And you gotta have these things in here or else you'll have no idea what kind of uh, temperatures you're getting out of the kiln. Before I get this load going, the only thing I'm gonna do is relocate these wires. As you can see, this is about uh, a little over waist height on the side of the wall where the wire runs. And I noticed when I was taking out the first load, a lot of the wood was coming up and kind of catching these wires because some of those boards are almost 11 feet long, which is the max width for the kiln. I do not want to damage these wires because you have to get a whole entire system here if that happens. You can't just probably mend it together. You probably have to buy the whole instrument again. But the good people at Woodmiser here, when they designed it, made this thing really long. I've got an extra probably 20 feet or so coiled up. So I'm gonna run this wire on the ceiling, then straight down. Because it has to be at this height. I can't just leave it at the ceiling. Uh, the guys that designed this kiln recommended this height right here for the instruments to hang. wondering why I'm putting a lot of this insulation in this back corner is because this is kind of a dead spot in the kiln both of these corners that's why these fans are in here to try to help combat that problem and keep the air circulating through the lumber rack right up through the kiln hope uh, up through the process pretty much but what I'm doing I have a bunch of these left over so I'm gonna stick them in both back corners and try to fill up this area as much as I can to avoid any stale air or any moisture that kind of gets back here and stays here and doesn't go through the process and get pulled out. Well, it's snowing here today in Tennessee. And what I got done is I got the kiln about three fourths of the way loaded. And I'm gonna head over to where the sawmill is and hopefully get the tractor out and put the white oak logs in front of it. People wonder why I wear sunglasses all the time on these videos. And the reason being, None of my cameras have a viewfinder. I can't tell what it's recording. And my eyes are always going everywhere. It kind of looks kind of weird when I'm looking at the camera and I'm looking everywhere as it's recording. So that's why I wear the glasses. It is coming down today. I don't think we're going to get any kind of accumulation here, but it sure has put a damper in my plans for the day. Put it that way. Love will surround you, my dear In the autumn or spring In New York or here No matter how cold a distance Some days well, Before we head over there, here, let's fill the truck up. Just no one's all around you, my dear not that this is real exciting stuff, but a lot of the other people I watch on YouTube, they like to show themselves filling up their vehicles gas. So I thought I'd try it. I don't get it. Now these are the logs we'll be sawing up tomorrow as long as the weather cooperates. We should have some pretty good weather tomorrow. I think it's supposed to snow, so we should get to these. And this is some nice wide oak timber. I scaled these out about 1,300 board feet total, and there's five of them. They're 10 foot long. 
so we should get some pretty nice timber out of it. I'll be sawing these into two by sixes for a fence that's being put up here on the farm, and the rest of them are going to be made into uh, six by sixes, more than likely, for a building project I'm going to be doing back at the house. Should be some pretty good sawing though out of this oak. White oak usually saws up really well, and this is some nice straight stuff. So tomorrow, if the weather's nice, which is Saturday, we'll get to this. If not, Monday at the latest. We should have some pretty good weather tomorrow. I don't think it's supposed to snow, so we should get to these. What we're doing today, today is Saturday, and I'm not sawmilling today either. We had some more snow last night and this morning. Kind of changed our plans on what we're going to do. Probably sawmilling on Monday. But uh, what I'm doing today is finishing up this load for the kiln. Now, I've got my walnut stacked in here. I think I've got 22 uh, walnut slabs. On the very top is some 5.5 by 5.5 poplar. And that's been air dried also. It's around 12% as well. And uh, you can mix species up in this kiln as long as it's pretty close to the same moisture content. So that's not a big issue. So this is the last layer. I've got one more beam I'm going to put behind this one. Then we'll put our uh, insulation on here. All of our, uh, what's that word? I always forget that word. Anyways, I can't remember the word for nothing. We're going to put our insulation around here, the baffles. We're going to baffle the load here with the insulation. And then we'll be ready to turn this thing on. I've already got my heat lamps going up here on the top and kind of warm it up in here just a little. So we'll get the last load on here and get the baffles going and uh, get the kiln turned on. It's been ten years And I've got my new set of scars From broken hearts and broken arms From chasing after where you are I've cried a couple tears Been taking everything too far And running around in the dark Trying to finish what I couldn't start So who's gonna love you now That gravity brought you down Now that I'm not around well, who's gonna... We should have some pretty good weather tomorrow. I don't think it's supposed to snow, so we should get to these. And this is some nice walnut timber here. Let's say walnut timber. 